Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be going over the new Golden Week Shiny Outbreak event, which does feature Shiny Magikarp, Shiny Varum, Shiny Shinx, and Shiny Ralor. So this event is to celebrate Golden Week in Japan, so it's a really, really nice time for you, to go, for you guys to be able to get these Golden Shinies. So first things first, you want to make sure you're connected online, head down to the Poke Portal, down to Mystery Gift, down to check Poke Portal News, and this is how you will get those outbreaks to appear in your game. So this event will run for a, for about a week from now, so you do have plenty of time to go get them. So on the Paldean map, we will have the Varum and the Magikarp outbreaks. As you can see here, they are scattered around the map. Magikarp focus around those rivers. Varum can basically be anywhere. The key to this event is to make sure you get outbreaks that are in a good situation where you can get the full 15 Pokemon to spawn. The odds for this event are 1 in 200, so it is very, very easy for you to get this shiny, but you want to make sure you're maximizing the amount of Pokemon on screen. So, second map here, we're in Kitakami, this will be the Shinx outbreak. So there will be heaps of them everywhere. This is probably the easiest outbreak to get. Very easy Pokemon to spot. Um, they're very easy to picnic reset. Shinx, it's super easy. Lastly is the Blueberry Academy with that Ralor. My recommendation is to get an outbreak by resetting in the Polar Zone. Um, it is the easiest to see the gold against the white or blue. That is my recommendation, but we'll come back to this later. I will show you guys the easiest way to get each of the shinies and what to do if you're not getting them in the right spot. Um, it is key, seriously, just move on if you do not get an outbreak in a good spot. So, I'm going to use the Magikarp one uh, as an example here. The Magikarp outbreak we are looking at is in the river system up the top here to the right. It is not the best place and we will show you why when we head there now. Cool, so we're at the outbreak now and as you can see there's lots of other Pokemon spawning around, not just Magikarp because that river is really small. The problem is with this, you need it to be in an area where you can get the 15. So my recommendation is keep resetting these outbreaks until you can get one in the ocean. Because if it's not in the ocean, you will constantly have to be competing with other Pokemon, which will minimize the amount on screen and mean that it takes longer to get your shiny. You want this to be as quick as possible. This event is 1 in 200. It shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes to get each uh, individual shiny, which is about what it took me. So if you do reset, keep looking around until you see them in the ocean. So that one up there at the top is still on the beach. That's not what you want because you will continue to be competing against other Pokemon. So this is the method to reset. Jump out to your settings, down to your system settings, date and time, date and time again, and just drop it back a minute. You can do this as many times as you want, and it will constantly reset those outbreaks on your screen, which is super, super, super helpful. And as you can see, we got one out in the ocean, which we're going to head to now. So as you can see, 15 Magikarp on screen, they're fairly easy to tell if they're shiny or not because you can kind of see the red breaking through the water, but these two outbreaks for Magikarp and Varum are the most annoying too, the Ralor and the Shinx are much easier. So once you have got the 15, just move all the way back till it starts despawning those Pokemon and then move forward. As you can see, I nearly missed it, but we got the shiny Magikarp within two minutes of going to this area. So as you can see, nice gold colour to celebrate Golden Week. Um, obviously Magikarp doesn't have any um, moves or anything like that you need to be worried about. I drew drop a Master Ball on it here because I think it's funny to have a, basically to have a shiny Magikarp in a, in a Master Ball, <laughs> that's it really. We're moving on now to the Varum. Varum is by far the most annoying outbreak. You really, really want to make sure that you have it in a good spot because they spawn so quickly and they fly around really quickly and you'll constantly run into them and it is incredibly annoying. So we're in this area now, as you can see the shiny is on the left hand side of your screen, it's quite difficult to tell until you get close, but it is very, very clear when it is next to the other room. so it is a golden colour. You won't have to worry about room having any moves that will knock itself out or anything, so you can just use a false swiper to get it in a ball you like. I go for it here in a luxury ball because I think it matches quite well. Um, but. The key again for Varum is making sure you have the outbreak in a good spot because it is incredibly annoying. I hated this one. Next up is Shinx. You want to make sure you get a Shinx outbreak where you can make sure all 15 Pokemon that are spawning are Shinx. So as you can see, stay away from rivers, stay away from mountains. I do have this one on the left hand side of the screen there. This is the edge of the map, which means if I reset in that zone, I'll be able to get all 15. So here we are. 
flew to the area and started picnic resetting. This was about a minute in. As you'll see, they start to spawn on screen, and then the yellow Shinx pops up here. So if you do want to get the full line, make sure to hunt down three Shinx. Shinx does actually have a uh, gender difference as well with the hairstyle, so if you do want to get both of them, go for it for this event. It is definitely the easiest way. Shinx, again, uh, is actually a high enough level, I think, that he can have a move to knock himself out. It doesn't happen here, and I actually like the pattern, so I go for a quick ball to get him. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments if it does happen to you. So make sure you save before you start trying to fight him. I'm pretty sure he can knock himself out. Lastly, we're up to Rallor now. My recommendation is get a Rallor outbreak in the polar region, because it is incredibly easy to tell the shiny with the backdrop of blue and white, with the brown for the normal shiny, uh, sorry, for the normal shiny, for the normal Pokemon and the gold for the shiny. So as you can see, the spot I got here was really good. You can see all of them very easily. We're just gonna picnic reset this one here, and you'll be able to tell quite quickly that the shiny is very, very obvious to spot. So once the picnic is back down, you will see it pop up on the right-hand side of the screen. Give it a couple seconds to be able to spawn all 15 Pokemon on screen. There you go, you can see the shiny ball there. Head on over to it. Rallor also doesn't have any moves that can knock it out, so just save before you go to fight it. Once you get him, you can just false swipe him down to get him in a ball that you want, which is super, super easy. This is another really, really nice shiny. That golden ball looks incredible, it, although it is meant to be, they say it's mud, but uh, we'll see who actually believes that. Just false swipe him down. There we go. He does take a couple because he's a little bit higher, which is easy. Hit him with another false swipe, and then go for that luxury ball to match the gold as well. He doesn't have any moves, like I mentioned, to knock himself out, so you don't have to be worried. Do, though, if you want to get the full shiny line for Rallor, make sure you go get a second one, as this is the best time to get the second one. Um, but uh, Rabska does have a weird way to get it to evolve, so, sorry, from a Rallor to a Rabska, so... I will show you how to do this method here. It's the only weird one in the game uh, out of the shinies that we're going for here. You will need it to get you to follow you around for a thousand steps in the let's go function. So you will just have to run in circles like I'm doing here, but it should be high enough level that all you will need to do, actually I don't think there is a minimum level, um, all you'll need to do is run around until you think you've hit a thousand steps. There's no indicator, it's kind of quite annoying. I think I wasted probably three or four rare candies. But use the rare candy, you only need the one, and then you will see it evolve into a really, really nice shiny. One of the coolest shinies in the game, I actually think, for the new Pokemon. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this event. I love these 1 in 200 events. I uh, hope they keep bringing them back. If this guide's been helpful for you guys, please leave us a like and subscribe. I want to hear how long it takes you to get your shinies as well. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.